Hello, welcome. It's a uh, it's a lovely Thursday evening, and it's, uh, it's the sun's not shining, but it's but it's quite warm, so we're all right. So that's the weather forecast out the way. Um, I'll just bring in my earworm. Oh no, I've just removed him. I think. No, I'm still there. We are. There we go. <laughs> Hello, Keith. I've got to try and get into. That's it. I've just killed you in. Uh... YouTube, so yep, and I'm already dead in YouTube, so I that's can all right. Hear now without the uh, echo. Good evening, guys, and welcome to Andy's live show. Okay, uh, put you back into the background, Keith, and uh, we'll make us make a start. Right tonight, as as advertised, we're going to be making a uh, a couple, a pair of um, tea light holders. Very simple. I thought I'd do something simple, something I can actually completely finish tonight. So I'm going to finish a pair of tea light holders. They're going to be that sort of shape. So fairly simple. Um, it's a third and two thirds. So I'm trying to keep to the, the nice sort of proportions. And obviously in the top, we've got a hole and we have a metal cup that sits in there to stop the risk of fire. If you're going to sell these things, that's essential. You have to do glass or or, or metal, doesn't matter which, but you have to have that on there. Otherwise, you can end up in all sorts of trouble. So, but it is going to be as of you. This is this is not you, obviously. It's, you can see it's not you, but um, we will be doing it in you as promised. And I do apologise for those of you spotted that I said that the vase I made on Tuesday was made in elm. I had a very serious senior moment. I don't know what, I can't explain it. I have no idea why I said it, but I did. It was in you and you all knew it was in you, I'm pleased to say. But thank you, Colin, for pointing it out. Right, so let's make a start. We'll get, um, which one shall we have? I think it was that one. No, yes, it, no, it won't be, it'll be that one. Sorry, right, there we go. Right. So this is a little bit larger than I wanted at the moment. Um, the diameter I'm after is, is that, so you can see it's, it's a good 10 mil, probably a bit more, bigger than I need it. And find my spindle roughing gouge. Turn the lathe on and make a start. Make some shavings. Right, well, while you're making a few shavings, I'll go oh, yes, through please. the participants list. Now, Thank there you, won't Keith. be all of you in here, but uh, I can only read what's on there if I'm lucky and get to the bottom without it disappearing. So the first one in is your good lady. Now we've found her the right channel to watch. So welcome, Alison. Um, you're in. I don't know why, but you're in. Um, Harry Chitty, Chris the Spinning Wood Dodger, Douglas Mungham, Hodgepodge, Robert, Jay's Cabin, James Crawford, John S. Casting, Lucy's in. I expect Robin's hiding there as well with her. Hello, Lucy. Mark the, Mark the Gentleman Woodturner's in. Nick Castle, Paul Hyten, the Greasby Turner, Peter Cochran, Robert Dolman, That's Steve I'll Scott. Turned, turned you up a bit. Um, Wood Wizardry by Colin and Woodworm Paul. So... If I've missed any of you, and I know I have, because I've seen one or two go through that haven't come back up. So, uh, welcome in the Linnykins. Hiya, kiddo. Let's see, she's in. Um, did I see Robert Dolman? If I've missed any, which I know I have, John McDonald's in. What's Andy making today, John? If you were on time, you'd have seen it's what it was going to be. It's going to be two matching, as near as possible, tea light holders in you, like looking, that. Looking something like that, but in you. In the proper you would, yes. Copper owls in. Oh, hello, Rob, isn't it? Lawrence, yeah, Rob. Lawrence Bagasia's in. Hello, Lawrence. Yeah, I think I've got everyone, but uh, 
there's still a possibility that I've missed someone. But uh, any questions you've got for Andy or myself to answer? Yourself. Oh, no. Yeah, just um, <laughs> stick a couple of cues in there, and we might see them, or I might see them. Depends whether I'm watching what Andy's doing or watching the screen. I can think I can pretty much guarantee I won't see them, but you won't probably, or you shouldn't be able to. Have you covered your t uh, keyboard up first? I have. I have. Yep. Oh, you're getting Honest. good at this now. Yeah. <laughs> Everything else right. now that's bad, isn't it? That's now down to the diameter I wanted. And I've prepared the blank for, for the other one, which is going to match it. Save a bit of time, because I'm determined to finish this tonight. Right, Complete, well, got, completely. Um, we've got the beard on later on, but he's not on until nine, so we're aiming to finish yeah. by quarter to nine to give everyone a chance to get to the loo and make a cup of... Drink yeah. or, or I think we should, drink. We, we should be comfortably finished by then. Yeah, Terry's in. Hello, Terry. Right, where's my pencil? Oh, you've got 30 at the moment watching you. I think that's... Uh, what am I doing there? there no that's not right sorry sorry just just talk amongst yourselves let's get it in there that's it that's better right, so that is going to be that's, that's pretty much right then All right david nichols joined us colin sullivan hello colin oh okay, hello colin name. yes from the <laughs> museum yes he said from he was the museum was, yeah. I saw him this afternoon. He said he was hoping to join us. So, yeah. hello, Colin, and welcome. I saw him on Sunday. And That's right. It's about yep. time you put your name up and said hello, instead of <laughs> hiding there. And he has we'll done. We'll embarrass you. We'll embarrass you, mate. <laughs> and this is doing what uh, some people advise you shouldn't do, and others say you should, putting that groove in. But I do find it gives a really positive fix. Right, that's ready to turn around. Douglas is on to his normal thing. Eight thumbs, 29 watching. Come on, all. Oh, right, yes, yes. Yes, he does keep an eye on that, doesn't he? Bless yeah, him. Yeah, thank you, Douglas. David Nickel, no, you haven't missed much. You've only missed um, eight minutes. Hardly started. Um, only about six, seven minutes of that is uh, is actually turning. So nothing to nothing to uh, worry about. Right. So let's put that in there. <coughs> right. Sound effects as well. <laughs> got to pretend, haven't you? Mm. Right, I'm going to reset the calipers to the height of the, the, the sorry, the width of the top. Get that somewhere near right. This is this is mainly because I'm making a pair. If I was just making one, I wouldn't be worrying about that. I'd be just doing it to make. Oh, it's in fact at the right size anyway. I'll just do it to make it look pretty. But as, as we're making a pair, I need to make sure that I've got some sort of something sensible to work to that's there that's the bottom this is going to have a few little inclusions i think because it's the nature of the timber but i'm not too worried about that right, i'm going to put a groove where the bottom comes So I know where I've got to stop. And then I shall drill the hole in the top. I 
I state the blooming obvious. The drill bit is the right size for for the, the the metal cup that goes in there, so the the drill bit will fit that more or less. I have to clean a little bit out, but it's uh, not bad. I'll change my camera so you can see, which I think was going to be, no, not that one, that one I think, that one or that one, that one will do whichever it. One you, whichever one you can work with, they're both good. That's very nearly in focus too. It's very tricky focusing this it's very very fine adjustment that's somewhere there i'm not going to be on it for very long so uh, they're a nightmare aren't they the manual focus ones yeah yeah and i know i've got to go in 18 mil i think it is from memory and we know what your memory is like this week <laughs> pretty shot to be honest <laughs> yeah 18 mil should be nice Which is 18 mil from where it actually starts cutting, which is so it's going to be about 20 mil. That'd be all right. That's, that's, and I'm doing it measuring on the, from the the graduations on the quill. He's frozen. So can you guys hear me or am I am I muted as well? I think I could sing but I'm not going to. Can you hear me now? Yeah, and uh, and see something. Yep, good. Yeah, where do you go? Out to the loo? It just, no, no, it just suddenly went off. Absolutely. You're right, it did suddenly went off. Absolutely yeah. no idea why. No, we had a party while you were gone. Good, that's all right, as long as you enjoyed yourself. <laughs> right, what I was saying was, <laughs> I want to put the um, put something in there to let me know when I'm up to the, down to the size that I want. So I set the calipers again. Roughly, just slightly larger. That should do it. And we'll run a groove in there with the parting tool. Well, you didn't lose anyone. Sorry? You didn't lose anyone. Good. That's all right then. Oh, that knot is hard. Oh, stop complaining. that 
and we start shaping down to that from either side basically it's as simple as that i wasn't going go fast overhead. enough yep uh i don't remember which one it was two wasn't it i think no it was no. the other one wasn't it that one that one that'll do it When I made the one I've just taken the size off, I did work out very carefully where the bottom of the hole was. Um, and I'm thinking I should check it on this one now. Because I well, know it's time. inside until it it's becomes inside. outside. That's <laughs> absolutely, that's the problem. So that's the diameter. And it is. Not over keen on cider, Douglas. I got very drunk on cider at college and I can't take it since. No, I got very drunk on it that one year. A good few many years ago that was. Yeah, it was scrumpy I was over overindulging in. Right, so twenty mils there, so it can't be. It was that one I set, wasn't it? So it's got to be five mil bigger than that. Which it pretty much is. Let's set that to there, which is absolute minimum. And it's just there. Cool, I'm getting close. Okay, we're all right. We've got Rob CP joining us now. Hello, Rob. May not be entirely straight when we finish. <laughs> I've got a bit deeper with the hole than I did on the other one. Gonna finish that off with a scraper. Try and get a little bit straighter. Where's my scraper gone? In the drawer. There it is. Yes, Colin, that's all I am now. Real ale drinker. Um, Bacardi and Coke, I'm afraid. Uh, I'll it again. <sighs> I'm going to get this as straight as I can. I just may go through. To anyone seeing the light, just shout for Andy to stop. <laughs> Yeah, I just took that uh, cup a bit too deep. But it doesn't matter too much. We'll be all right. Oh, that's all right. That's okay. That's not a bad shape. I'll go with that. A little bit more down here. As I say, I did say it was going to be simple. Mm. And, and fairly quick. 
we have got another one to do yet, so. Uh, you want to put there. that right across the top, Andy? About a 10 mil down. Looks like you've got a... Uh, oh, up yeah, there. Or is, is that a knot that's spinning? It's it's a, a wavy... Oh, it's a dark grain, line. Grain, yeah. grain line, yeah. There's a that little bit like there. a, Yeah, it looks really bad when it was spinning. Looks yes, like you've got did. a real divot in there. Yeah, yeah you're uh, right. I've got a slight bit left there. I don't think I'm going to worry about that too much. No, I'm not. Definitely. I shall just do a little bit of something on the top there, and I've got to make the um, cup, the, the, stick, the aluminium cup bit. That should be better. Much better. Slight crack there, but I'm not going to worry about little things like that. Small details. It's you. So what do you? It's expect? you, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, uh, it's not Adam. Elm. No, no. Despite appearances to the contrary, right? That's a little bit too tight, which I thought it would be. So we'll just ease that a little bit. Uh, do this. Well, I've got to... I'll get entertainment outside the uh, office window tonight. It looks like there's a, a nest that's been in a shrub, a tree that we've got out here of wrens. It looks like they just fledged and they're uh, oh, really? in flying, yeah. They're backwards and forwards in and out the conifer. So if you've got oh, any I've questions, got... you'll, have, you'll have to shout for me because he's <laughs> going to be busy. No. Just keep seeing them out the corner of my eye disappearing into the conifer. Yeah. You don't often see it. <laughs> yeah. Let's take that corner off. Douglas is on to his fetishes. He says it looks like a wooden doll. <sighs> uh huh. That's still a bit snug. Yeah, one um, point I will make. For everybody, not just uh, Andy, but if you're using metal inserts, make them loose because the metal expands. Yes, yeah, absolutely. And the candle burns down. So don't make them a tight stick. And I usually put a little dog of glue on the bottom so they don't fall out and get lost because otherwise people will tend to use the thing without it. And that's not a good idea. No, I've actually drilled, put a small drill hole in and a counter sunk it and screwed them in. Yeah, my smaller ones have actually got that already. They've got right. a screw hole and, and you just screw them through. But um, but rather than putting a hole in it, I just tend to glue it. And it works. Works very well. Right, that's okay. That'll smooth off when I sand it. So that's that's fitting nicely now. So there we are, sanding already. It's only 10 to 8. Well, just after. Half hour apiece. Quick sand. That's what I'm after. Yeah. And actually, I've, I've, I've got the other one part turned anyway. So it's going to make life a little bit quicker. Somebody said uh, they like the way I set the table to do mm. finishing. There we are. I've set the table. I thought that was a nice word of describing it. <laughs> right, we're going to turn the dust extractor on. Didn't need any reminding sword. tonight, guys. No. You no. have to uh, have reset a the baffles out in the air. <laughs> reset the baffles because they're the wrong way around. It's better. And I will put my. I'll just take my headset off for a minute. Talk about him. He can't hear. Right, I'm back with you again. Hopefully you can hear me. Yeah, don't say anything bad about him. <laughs> I can hear you, yeah. That's a nice loose knot there. The link I've just put in is for Richard's invade tonight. He's invading his dad, Whitebeard. Oh, that's right. Yes, of course he is. Yeah. 
Don't mention the floor, Colin. That's uh, the FBI are still working on that one. Is that my floor? Yep. <laughs> yeah. You can tell it's not Alison, so we're all right. She's in the chat. She's still in the chat, yes, yeah, so we're okay. So Rich is invading, like I say, Whitebeard, which is his dad, and it's going to be, as far as I can work out, a live invade. Yes, he was going down which there, is wasn't he? Right. Yeah, yeah, which is going to be one of his first live invades that he's done for some time. Yeah, I can't then. say that I saw I saw that for the, um, the very early ones. No, I wasn't into YouTube in those days. No, Alison's chuckling to herself. What? Uh, about the floor. Oh yes, yeah. I've <laughs> got a few comments. Right Chris, we we had to take it up before we uh, fired up tonight, so there's no white person shaped tape on the floor. I'm afraid <laughs> they didn't like it when we took it up, but uh, we had to. <laughs> yeah, that's TV TV stars can't be doing with tape on the floor. <laughs> Do you know who I am? And all that sort of stuff. <coughs> Are you getting the dust, Keith? I'm getting a bit of dust, yeah. <laughs> yeah, can you keep, can you keep it down? Yeah, okay. Right, I think that's guessing. Let's have a look. Yeah, there's nothing I can do about that. Not it is what it is. That's good enough. It's not the most interesting piece of timber, except for the knots. So I'm quite glad they're there. Oh, he's getting really picky, guys. He gets the wood given to him for free, and then he moans. Yeah, no, I blame the person who gave it to me, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't know until you start moving, start cussing it, do you? No. Douglas is asking a question. What is the bare minimum you can get away with with cutting out the pith from a log blank, please? Well, Douglas, um, really depends what the log is to start with if it is um something with a really heavy pith you need to totally clear it out um i usually cut out 15 mil and the reason i do that is then that that 15 mil is good for either a, a wand or cutting up for pen blanks pen blanks yeah Wayne's just dropped in. Wayne the wood turner. Hello, Wayne. Hello, Wayne. What's the weather like up in Scotland today, mate? It's uh, pretty overcast down here at the moment. Warm, but overcast. Yeah, that's not good. Reverse. Yeah, I can try. I go back a few couple of grades. Oh, it's uh, apparently the technical term up in Scotland is uh, bloody wet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I'm guessing that it's been raining then. Uh, we've got the rain it? forecast down the south here a bit later on this evening. Um, We're just trying to get all the, all the bad weather out of the way up in Scotland before we go up there in November. Right. Then have a, a week, a week, no, a fortnight's holiday up in Scotland. 
Uh -huh. November. I think it seems the height of, height of good sense to me. Yeah. It's, uh, all the midges will be gone by then, so you'll be Absolutely. fairly safe. Absolutely. Yeah. That was, that was part of my thinking. On. Oh, I've just realised what I'm seeing. <laughs> Daylight. Yep. Just there. I've come across the bottom of the hole. The answer is don't sand it anymore, then you've still got a matching pair. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That's, that's staying where it is. I'm not going any further with it. I put a bit of the... Prove the point that you've done a matching pair, but yeah. don't do, don't drill so deep next time. No, nope, I'll stick a bit of Yorkshire grit on there. Douglas I mean, has you... just had rain up the Essex coast. That's very uncomfortable. Mm. Did it make your eyes water? <laughs> uh, Yorkshire grit. What's your turn to sing? Okay. Well, that ain't happening. <laughs> Definitely not happening. Ah, you know I forgot to. Anyway. Yeah, we'll let you off. Not too worried. This one's not going to go very far, is it? I'd be surprised if this top stays on, actually. Looks like Lionel's in. I must admit, I didn't. Oh, yes. He's popped in. Hello, Lionel. Hi, Lionel. I missed you popping in, but I've seen uh, one or two saying hello to you. That does explain what that line was that was appearing around the top of the mm. top of this. Chris, the reason is he's too tight with his felt tip pens to do that. What's that? No, don't you worry. You carry on, mate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, Douglas's eyes. Didn't. Yeah, Douglas's eyes are still watering because he's had the uh, rain up the Essex coast. <laughs> No, I said 18 mil and then drilled at 20, didn't I? Got carried away. I was enjoying myself so much. It's a shame, but there we are. I'll have to make another one tomorrow. And I'm sure you've got another bit off of that uh, length I give you. I have indeed. Have you finished sanding? Yes. Take your snorkel and flippers off because we can't oh, bloody hear you. Yeah. yeah, I could do that, can <laughs> I? Much nicer without it on too. Mm. Yeah. I find I'm walking into the house sometimes with, with it on and my headset as well. Oh, I've done it with the headset on before now. And as you walk away, it says uh, tell it the, what's it, signal's not there or something. Yeah, PC is still uh, disconnected. <laughs> That's the one, yeah. yeah. So it reminds you then, doesn't it? Yeah. It's not worth it, David. It's not going to go anywhere. So um, we're just... What was that? Turn, turn it as it is. Bit of CA in the crack. It's not that uh, bad. It's holding up. It is, it is. And what I'm going to do to finish it, just so you know, in fact, I might as well do it since I'm going to finish this one. I'm going to use the chestnut microcrystalline wax this time. Uh huh. Because I used the Hampshire sheen last time. Douglas, no, that is 15 mil total. So um, you don't waste a lot of wood by cutting either side of the pith. You can take as much out as you like, but the more you take out, the smaller the um, bit either side is going to be. Yeah. I must admit, I tend to just run the chainsaw down the middle and and leave it at that, because when you start turning it, you, you start removing a bit more. 
yeah it all, it all works out quite well but that's only in my experience Colin said can you uh, show us the can so you can see what you're using sorry yes I can indeed I can it indeed is. it's uh, upside so down so but so it's the, the right way model. yeah it's the Aussie model but it's still the same over here chestnut micro crystalline wax it's very similar to the Hampshire Sheen one, to be honest, yeah. in terms of performance. I like to support Terry. finger prints more yeah. than a standard wax. And it's very easy to put on and, you know, it's got a lot of things going for it. Mm. I, like to, I, think, I think Terry does a lot of good for our, our hobby. Yeah. And I yeah. like to support him when I can. And then so does, Chris, so does Martin, so... Yeah, Chris, the spinning wood dodger, says that's a very thin skew you open the tin with then. <laughs> some hmm. of us some of us have a screwdriver <laughs> to open tins oh. with. <laughs> oh, is that what it is? No, it's, a novel, it's a novel idea, I know, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've got something. I've got a skew with a blue handle. <laughs> yeah, the, trouble is, the trouble is I have to sharpen my skews, don't I? Nobody else is going to do it for me. So. Yeah. Right, we're going to part that off. <laughs> We may even finish the base off later on. I'm going to pass it off now, just to get it out of the way. I, I, I know that there's arguments about whether you should use these short um, well, passing tools. It's got tools. a fairly long handle on it, so you yeah, should be yeah, fairly yeah. safe. And because you're doing it one-handed, I, I just feel, feel more secure using a short one. That's out of the way for the minute. So that we can't see it, I know. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Right. Pop the other one in and we'll make the matching pair. Except this Preferably one without the uh, won't, won't have the drain it. won't have the drainage. Because mm. that's what it was for, of course. Tony Smith's joined us. He's another member of uh, WSWT club right. member. Hi, Tony. I thought, I thought the name was familiar. Mm. It's difficult when you just see them, see the names, and I'm not good with names. Right, so we'll start again, doing exactly what we did before. Nearly. Well, nearly, yes. Not, not exactly. So we set this to the, depth, the, the, the width of the top which is that which I think that pretty much is. It's uh, significantly less because I had to, had to turn this timber down fairly well because of the, all the inclusions and things and the uh, size it was originally. That's the width of the base. Again, it's slightly less. It's going to be a fraction smaller, this one. Yeah, so it's going to be an identical one then. Identical one, yeah. <laughs> so that's where that goes. That's where that goes. Oh, that's busted my pencil. No surprise there, then. That's all right. I've got plenty more. Okay, so... Um, so the bottom's all right. I've just got to part that off a little bit. for that and we set this to the jennifer's post. popped in jennifer's craft and creation hello jennifer hello jennifer welcome to the madhouse tonight well part of it is anyway yeah mate, i'll do my best <laughs> right somewhere there a bit mean on that Andy because you you won't you can make the next one a bit uh, 
the duplicate for this one a little bit uh, yeah, true. wider, can't you? Yeah, I've just I've just opened it up a little bit. Well, for your sins, you've still got thirty six watching. Sorry, thirty six. Yep. Oh, that's all right then. Right. Okay. This time we're going to drill the right size, right de depth. Really depends, Douglas, what you call thin. Um, Ashley Isles do a steel, which you need to put into a handle, that is one and a half to two mil wide as a parting tool, which is the one I use. Um, I find that works quite well because you can put it into a longer handle. Make yourself a longer handle to put it into. I think this um, the, the one I would just be using, I think, was was sold as a two mil. Right. And Mark's Passing saying through. that Simon Hope does one as well. Uh-huh. Well, apparently you've got another watcher, but uh, they can't log in. Uh, they can't get the poor up to do it, apparently. Molly's watching as well, sort of. That's Linny, Linny's do dog. All right. <laughs> okay. Right, let's... 22, so if I go to 40, that should be 18 mil. That's what I need. shape into that because we always turn our blades off when we move the tool rest of course well, the sun's just making an appearance down here albeit a bit late all oh, right yeah i'm not seeing it here yet but i'll send it down feeling that's not deep enough yet i think i've got i've gone too far the other way this time um, 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 um. seventeen point two and that is nowhere near that's thirteen point i've, I've cocked that up completely so it's got to go another four mil. Obviously, didn't take it to forty. I took it to thirty-five. Bear with me. Talk amongst yourself, guys, while Andy has a a quick mental arithmetic session. Break breakdown, I think, is the word. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he's having a bad week with the brain. Yeah, just a bit. It only it only works occasionally. <laughs> right. So that's twenty-two. 30, 35, yeah, I already went to 35. I saw a big a big mark come up. All right, Doug Miller's come in to join us. Welcome to the madhouse, Doug. It's uh, not all going wrong, but uh, we're having fun tonight. I'm keeping you entertained. That's my job. Yeah. Right, okay, that's that's better. Oh, that's that's plenty now. Now then, let's see how much we've got left here. <clears throat> oh, I can't do it that way. Yeah, there's a little bit of a discussion going on in the chat about thin parting tools. Um, oh, yeah. I wouldn't go anything deeper 
than about two inches with the two mil one. If I want to go deeper, I'd go up to a three mil one, which I'd go to three inches and so on four mil up to four inches. But anything bigger than that, you're, uh, you're going on to a decent parting tool, decent bit of metal to uh, hang that far over the end of the tool rest. Yep. No, it's, it's silly to push your luck, isn't it? Yeah, it's not worth it. Not worth it. Right, that's the bottom there. So that's the first the cut's going to take it off. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm just putting a mark on the on the uh, do flicker. So Richard Phelan's in as well. Hi, Richard. So if I increase that by a good four mil. We should have enough left to sand it. So that wants to go down to that size. That's it. That's how I did it before. I remember now. <laughs> Can't see my pencil on now. No, it's gone. No, Douglas, I would be very reluctant to use a bandsaw to cut anything big, particularly as it's round. Um, you are asking for trouble. Yeah, unless you have a purpose-made yeah. sledge. Yeah. Which, which um, Tina, uh, 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 um, Emma, Tiny Turner, she was yeah. making some for hers, wasn't she, at one point? Yeah, but I'm still very reluctant to cut ra anything round that sort of size. Can be very tricky. Yeah, yeah. That's the dinosaur blades at the moment. Uh, you don't really want to mess them up. Right, that's it's got a slight facet there. Not too worried about that, but at least it means it's got enough thickness not to go through. Jennifer's asking what wood you're using, Andy, and the truth is tonight he's actually using you. Yes. Um, in not even in elm disguise. No, it is you. And in the nature of you, these two came off adjacent pieces of a a, a branch, and yet they're very different two pieces of timber. I had a huge knot and a couple of other knots in the other bit. This one just hasn't really got anything like that. It's it's quite plain, really. Come on. That's that. Grab your big scraper again. Martin at Woody's Creations just uh, decided to Hello. join us. Hello, Hi, Martin. Hi, Martin. How are we tonight? And what's the excuse for being a tad late? We'll accept any excuse. Yeah. Yeah, we don't want cake. <laughs> the time you get it to us, it won't be worth eating. <laughs> That's it. Actually, it's quite a nice colour in there. So you're moaning about no character and colour. That doesn't yeah, it's look quite too nice, bad. actually. No, it's quite nice. It's not as brown as it sometimes is, but it's 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 quite nice. Quite nice. In fact, very nice. Oh, come on. I must lubricate my bed again sometime. I'll have a little bit of a <laughs> I was waiting oh, for a bad. 
Yeah, not I was that waiting bit, for sorry. a comment. <laughs> <laughs> Right, I've got to just open up the open up the hole a little bit. Mm -hmm. So Martin's like he's been fixing uh, his roof. Okay, well we'll let him off then. No, he hasn't been, he's been fixing the loo. Sorry, I really must Good. increase the size of this print so I can yeah. see it. Yeah, we're suckers for a sob story, sir. So. Yeah. No cake, just booze. That's perfect. So I'm going to glue that. That's not going anywhere. But that's significantly smaller than the other one. I think. Alison, squeaky bed. We've got a nice bed at the moment. If she turns over, it doesn't rock me awake. Well, and, and vice versa, of course. Mm-hmm. Right then, a bit of sanding. And you're coming up to 20 pa 21 past. You're okay. So right. you should, be, time. should be pretty much finished soon after half past. This one's a lot better finished than the other one, simply because it hasn't got all the, the awkward bits of grain. Does make a lot of difference on you. Yeah. You know, I haven't bothered with, with 80 grit at all. I had to on the other one, which is probably why I went through and took the top off it, or nearly. Whipping through them fairly fast, but I should have a quick look, see if I need to drop back a bit more. That's about as far as I usually go. Yes, awkward grain is part of the fun. That's that's lovely, Read lovely that. Yeah. So right next, I think I might just stick some sanding sealer on this just just for, just to make a change. You're going to spoil us. Yeah, as I forgot on the other one. <laughs> Yorkshire grit. Has that got some greeny colour in it? It's got all sorts. It's got grey yeah. down there. Grey green, yeah. Yeah, grey, greeny, yeah, yeah. In fact, that goes all the way around pretty much, and that bit's quite orange. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's got its little bit of interest. Mm.
It's all gone already. That was quick. I do put it on thinly because I'm tight. Well, we have to buy our own. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, there's yeah. no sponsorship here. Right, Yorkshire Grit microphone. Again, as as last time, microphone abra a hazy, a blah, 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 abrasive paste. Oh, it's got a nice finish to it, as 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 you usually does. Bailey Woodworks has just dropped in. Hi, Bailey's. Hello, Bailey. You're going to have to invest in a new bit of paper there, mate. Yeah, it's cloth, this one. I've gone posh. Is it? All oh, right. Yeah, it's, it's the safety cloth from Chestnut. I just like it. It feels good. But it is not as cheap as paper. But, yeah, that's nearly had it, this one, I think. Mm. Right, so a little bit of the the old Chestnut microcrystalline wax is that the right way up yes it is yeah look it is this time look yeah. at that straight to it opened with a screwdriver <laughs> not making a point or anything <laughs> right bit of that on there Bit round the top. Rub it up a bit. Cool, look at that shine. Just appears instantly. It's such a lovely timber to finish. I said this all on Tuesday, didn't I? Yeah. I'm, repeat, I'm repeating myself. Okay. It really is such a lovely timber to finish. And this is about 12 years drying. So... It's certainly dry, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's dry. I haven't put the meter on it, but I don't need to. Right, there we are. Get the parting tool out, and then I'll just sand off the bottoms. And we'll be there. lubricate this bed <laughs> it's, it's awful sticking like mad i use the wax that's on the paper that i've just put on the uh, wood i could do give yeah. that a rub yeah. over with that so that it's not wasted um, yeah every yeah. so often you yeah, could do that yeah i tend to spray it with the that one yeah the ptfe one the ptfe yeah. one yeah yeah dry dry ptfe stuff it it works but it doesn't last no no the, gotta keep keep doing it the wax is just as easy because you've nearly always got some on the paper or the cloth that yeah it's use. true yeah, yeah i hadn't really thought about that now you mentioned it I've re i remember hearing you say so uh, before but um you can't expect me to listen to you as well can you not all the time and take it in oh. <coughs> excuse me Undercutting it an absolute fraction. But as I'm going to put it on the sand, and now it probably doesn't matter too much anyway. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry, let me just have a quick drink. Ah, that's better. Right, okay, so there's that. Quick pop over here, and I think that one's working. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's glitching a bit, so apologies for that.
But just to show I've got a sander. That's about a 120 grit on there. So that actually gives you quite a reasonable finish. Straight off this. And only have a little bit to do on the lathe then. There it is. Oh, phone's ringing. Probably to tell you to change camera. <laughs> yeah, I will now. Just as I've got that camera on the sander, I thought I might as well use it. Mm. So, Even that, if it is rubbish. <laughs> that is how to make a pair, or not to make a pair, whichever you'd rather. Close, yeah. They're actually, they're actually not far away. It's pretty about that line round on... The other hand, in it? <laughs> that yeah, one. that one. It's back to front. Yeah, it's pretty about that line, but I'll turn it around. You can't see that then. There we are. <laughs> but um, but yeah, no, they're they're not they're not back. <laughs> they're not a mile say, out, are they? No. But considering they came off the off the off the tree like that, mm. amazing difference between them. In fact, it's probably more like that. I suspect because there's a little bit of grey around the top of this one in my right hand. So to match up with the grey that's on the other one. But yeah, um, but yeah it's, it's it's surprising the difference. Mm. And of course, the, that, that, that one had that, that huge knot in it, which was rather nice for character. And lots of other little bits sticking out. So, so there we are. Good one, mate. Good yeah. one. I should just sand the, uh, polish the bottoms of those. That, that's the deal. Some nice that's. comments coming in. Good, good. And it's I've done it in just just almost the hour. So just over the hour, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's not bad. That's that was my aim. Mm -hmm. So uh, Rob hasn't got a bandsaw. How can you manage mm. without a bandsaw? There are some quite nice small ones around. Rob, you might be able to uh, perhaps manage to stretch to. And you get loads of them going second hand. Right, there's the link for Rich coming on later. A bit later. Yep. Yeah. In, I've stuck that in again. So uh, if you can all head over to see him, show him your support. He's invading his dad tonight, the white beard. So that could be good. So you've got some nice comments coming here. Very nice candle holders. Like them. Good demo. So I'm just trying to see. No, I can't do it. I can probably do it on the other one. Just to give you the impression without mm. me holding get my grubby mitts in the way the difference between those is two those two is very marked isn't it yeah wood wise. color difference considering yeah. they're on adjacent pieces of of the of the log and there's there's what was left of the log <laughs> all right that would make it an interesting one <laughs> yeah absolutely that's why i kept it yeah yeah that's, the, that's there's the, the that's what the knot was like on the on, mm -hmm. on the knotty one so yeah so I've, I've kept it. I should do something with that without any doubts at all. So uh, anyway, there we are. So, so we've got tomorrow night, we've got the um, 
Um, Battle of the Makers tomorrow night. Come on, guys. No. Oh, yes. Yeah. Who's on lunchtime tomorrow? I haven't got a clue. I've been so um, busy the past fortnight that I seem to have lost yeah, track. Wayne, Wayne isn't because he's on his way down south. Yeah. To visit uh, Dale, I think it is. Yeah, I'm not sure whether he's got it, whether anyone's covering for it. He if didn't Mark's say so. In, no, if Mark's in and he knows, um, perhaps he'll stick it in the chat. Yeah, yeah. But certainly he didn't say anything on Wednesday. Yes, yesterday. Oh, I didn't his... catch that because I, I was watching Chestnuts last night. So I've got a couple <laughs> I was, to. I was watching both. <laughs> right. I get lost if I'm doing that. So yeah. I just stick to one. Uh, <laughs> One on my phone, which is a bit a bit small, but gives you an idea. Well, Chris Spennywood Dodger says they look ident similar. <laughs> that's that's a good way around it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not far out. No, they're they're not a million miles away. Actually, just looking no. up, up there, they're not they're not at all far away. But I should have to redo the first one because of the. It's a shame because it's got all those interesting knots in it, but mm. because of the top falling off. Yeah, that was my fault. Can't blame anybody else. <sighs> Good. Okay. Well, if nobody's got anything, uh, or nobody on okay. tomorrow, Terry says. All right. Oh yes, just pick that up. Oh, yeah. and Mark. Mark also says. I can. I can do that, can't I? <laughs> yes, you can do that. Because <laughs> I can. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and, and Terry backs it up. So there we are. So thanks everyone for stopping by and supporting Andy. Hopefully you've all hit the uh, thumbs up. If not, think perhaps you would do it on the way out. Yep, that would be nice. We've got 29 thumbs up, so most people have, have, have hit it. So, mm -hmm. But thank you very much, all of you, for coming along. It's really nice to see you. You're very loyal people. You are, a lot of you, see on a regular basis, which is, is really rather nice. And uh, so there's still more conversation about a bandsaw. Yeah. And da, 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 da. Yeah. Yes. Well, Rob has got been... has got a, ba a baby bandsaw, but it was stored in a shed for 15 mm. years and doesn't work. So chat's been a bit random tonight, but that's not a major problem. We don't, we can cope I'd with that. I'd rather it was that way than not happening. So. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Okay. Well, I'll say goodbye to everybody and thank you very much for coming along. And, uh, press the button. I'll say cheerio and cheers, guys. Yeah, that's the way. Thanks do it in for, style. Uh, <laughs> yeah, do it in style because I can. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Bye, everybody. Yeah, cheers, guys. <laughs>